Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing the booktube giving tag. So let's jump right into it. And I die if you want to destroy my sweater. tag was created by Elliot Brooks, so I'll have her links down below, and I was tagged by Jay from Caption Words, who is very lovely, so I'll also have link his links down below as well. What's a book you would give everyone if you could? For that I have Orange, and this is just a really interesting, like, light, but also very intense manga series. It's only two volumes, so it's really good for people who aren't used to a very long series of manga, so I think this would be a great read for so many people, and it deals with suicide for trigger warnings, so trigger warnings for that, but it's actually such a great read and really touching and has a kind of little cute romance in it as well, but it is more uh, focused on the serious topics. What book you could give a rat's high knee about? For this, I have the program series by Suzanne Young, which some people may not agree with me. Um, I haven't read them. I don't want to read them. All I've heard is that they use suicide as a disease. Very much bothers me so much. So I haven't looked into it, but as soon as I heard that, I was like, nope, never. <laughs> Well, probably not. Even that the holidays are coming up, what's a book uh, you hope someone buys for you? And for this I have Cheese Sweet Home Volume 3. Um, I bought Volume 1 and 2 myself. Um, they're very expensive because they're colored bind up so they are about like 30 to 40 dollars. So I really don't have the heart to spend it myself but hopefully I can get it. Or like if I get money I can buy it because I want it so bad. They're so cute. What is a book or series that you have given up on? So for this, I have the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I read the first book and thought it was hilariously bad and loved making fun of it, but I won't continue because I don't care. Who's a character who you wish the author gave more time to? And for this, I have Libby Day from Dark Places. I would love like a sequel, a companion. Um, I would love to see more of her. Uh, she's very much an unlikable character in this thriller, but I liked her. <laughs> but she's like supposed to be an unlikable character but like I really admire Gillian Flynn and her writing and by the way when is she coming out with a new book can someone can she write a new book please like I've read all of them and I'm just here waiting <laughs> character you wish an author would give less time to this I have two answers I have Manon from Air Fire I only read up to Air Fire and I was not a fan of Air Fire personally it just the series didn't went go in the direction that I personally was interested in and that I wanted it to so I didn't like Manon's chapters um, also, I have Merit by Colleen Hoover. Just that whole book, can it just go away? If you had to give up almost all of your books, which book would you keep? And for this, I have The Averted Suicides, my annotated, highlighted, and all the stuff I have in it copy. Um, my one true copy. I have a video on it if you're interested, but I would keep that copy. So sentimental to me, I will keep it. What is the best book or bookish gift you've ever been given? Is this edition, um, this is the Penguin Horror Edition. This is the, the Raven and Edgar Allan Poe um, stories. It's a collection. It's absolutely beautiful and it has black pages and my friend just randomly gave this to me. She's like, I don't want it. Do you want it? I'm like, yes. <laughs> so thank you, Lena. Lots of love. What's a book someone gave you that you wish you could give right back? Um, for this, I have The Hunger Games. I received it a long time ago. Honestly, I don't care to read it. I know it means a lot to people for nostalgic reasons, and I'm very like happy how many people got into reading through this series, but it's not just personally something that I will never read. Probably not. Maybe time in a book that a character was given something really meaningful. So for this, I have um, Under Rose State and Skies, and this is not like a physical object. It's more like a message. It's more of a learning experience that she was given, um, which I don't want to say too much about it, but it's such a great book. I would highly recommend it. There is some trigger warnings I would look into, but it's absolutely beautiful and definitely in my top 17 of this year. So there you guys have it. That was the booktube giving tags. I'll have the creator again down below. And thank you so much to Jay for tagging me. And I'm going to be tagging Peter from Peter Likes Books, Olivia from I Live You For Books, um, Kate from Girl Reading, and Allie from Hardback Quarters. So I'll have their links down below. So you guys have been tagged and I'll see you guys all very soon with a new video. Bye!